Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rail back with another motherfucking review, man. As power returns, so shall I. I'm not gonna talk about what I got cooking for the future because that's exactly what I've been doing. Because I know I talk a lot of shit. So anyway, y'all just gonna have to. I'm just gonna put the work in, man. I ain't gonna talk about it. I ain't gonna talk about it. We are at Power Book Two, Season Two, Episode Motherfucking Seis. Oh my god. This got to be by far the best Power Book 2 episode of all the Power Book 2 episodes. All of season 1, all this first half of this season 2. This one is the one. God damn was it good. I was sitting there like Oh, it's getting spicy. I don't even look. This shit got this shit so hey, this was a goodie. This was a goodie. It was worth the wait. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little tight. How they be doing the motherfucking um the see mid season breaks and all this shit, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, thank God I be watching like Mayor Kingstown and I got other shit to you know hold me down. Yellow Jackets is a but y'all don't be watching Showtime and shit. I know a lot of y'all ain't got Paramount Plus. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But where do we begin, man? Where the fuck do we begin? Lorenzo Tejada's out, right? He was out last episode, but God damn it, he hit the streets. He threw a motherfucking fiesta, okay? He didn't had all the bros, all former associates. He had the house Liddy with the dominoes, fucking tequila, all type of just, just real hood nigga shit. Just the things that... Uh, I used to enjoy prior to this COVID shit. You know what I'm saying? I miss, a, I miss one of those Tejada parties. I used that that was the move, man. Fuck a club, fuck a lounge, dominoes with your people, drunk as hell, in the crib. Come on, man. Don't get no, you know, fuck Omarion for this bullshit. But anyway, man, my man is out and he's feeling himself. He put fucking, he put Monet in her place bro like lorenzo didn't waste no time he said yo the streets is mine this house is mine the business is mine okay you had all this time to figure out who's gonna take charge let me let you know who's taking over drew drew clearly you know your son got a weakness i know what my son is he's gay whatever who gives a shit he runs the company okay lorenzo wasted no time monet is tight tight i've been if y'all remember the older, uh, if y'all go back to some of my other episodes, I was, I think the last two, I was talking about how Monet loves, <clears throat> she loves the power. She loves being in control of everything. And she was losing her shit this, this whole season. And it came to a head. Like, she is completely, Monet, who used to be so in control, mastermind, her shit has completely fallen apart. Completely. Right? She ain't got no control over her household. Diana talking to her spicy. Oh, why you don't why you ain't happy your husband ain't out, huh? What you got going on? After getting yoked up in the bathroom. I mean Diana ain't got no fear. She got her daddy with her. Daddy's little girl. Hey, Monet is looking outnumbered. Then she had to run. It's so nasty. Monet, let me tell you. So Monet is going against every fucking thing she has set up in the in the in the past, right? She disowned Kane. Told Kane, I don't care if you gotta take the fall for for your cousin Zeke, right? Take the fall for Zeke. Uh I've been put you out the house, threatened to murder this man. Now Kane is her only crutch. Kane is the only one. We need to out. We need to be independent. We got to have our own thing. So she come prey on the weak-minded Kane, who's so thirsty for approval of his mama, his daddy, the boy is, what, ain't he the oldest? But I thought, is Drew the oldest? Who's a middle child? Diana's clearly the baby. She get baby privileges. I think Kane might be. I don't know. They never explain who came first. Who was the chicken or the egg, the Drew or the Kane. But if I'm going off of it, I feel like Drew might be the oldest. So, which makes Kane the middle child. And th then, therefore, this is, I think Kane's the middle child and he's exhibiting it to the height. 
So now Monet has to fucking team up with Kane, who just I I, I don't know, right? Then she uh then she the, then the little oath she took with Mecca, right? Like she was signing papers. Then she did the whole. What was that? What was that meme going around on Christmas? Y'all could fight all year, but then wear the same matching pajamas. Then she see her family Kiki ended up at the table. Now she want to cut it off with Mecca. Like, okay, and wait. Then tell him like, cool. I can't be with you. Can't see me. And on top of that, you can't talk to Zeke either. You y'all can't meet. Bitch, what? Like Monet has lost her motherfucking mind. Like, so now you are gonna tell this nigga who you still don't know who your plug is, who's right there in front of you. Who's feeding your entire family? About to be feeding your husband. All like, this is a zesty episode. I'm going. To, it's gonna feel like I'm all over the place. I wanted to start off with with Lorenzo, but now I'm all the way to fuck on Monet because she, let's just stay on the Monet trail. Now Monet want to pay uh uh the Method Man. I can't think of his name right now in the show, but he want to pay Method Man for inside information on Tariq. But did, but the the valuable information of Tariq getting out on bail never crossed his mind. He got a quarter million, didn't even tell a motherfucker that he was out. So salute to meth. He was like, look, I ain't gonna tell you shit about my client. Nothing that could hurt him because bitch, I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? If it's something about your family, I let you know. But he is all willing to take money. Let, that man is running a lucrative business. Let me tell you something. The only nigga I've ever seen win and never take an L is that nigga. Now he had his little questionable shit in court when it came to Tasha dealing with Tasha's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Sax tried to do them over, then they tried to do a dirty deal, but uh, the, the meth is looking ill-proof. He ain't been doing shit but collecting bags. So, but that's a, we'll deal with that later. Uh, what else with Monet? Had to meet up with Brayden, right, to get this little secret alliance together. Testing out Brayden. Um, Brayden held it down, as he always does. Um... Yeah, it was, so Monet is going through it. The only, like, I don't, the only person she got in her corner is Tariq, who she threatened to, whose who's sister, he threatened, she threatened the whole situation outside the courtroom, like, you, I will make you not get your sister. Threatened to kill his boy several times, never gave him a ride to and from anywhere. Okay, never even offered him an Uber, can I take you to someplace closer, never did that. Now she's got to lean on him financially. Leaning on Mecca that she doesn't even know about, at the via Kane, who knows absolutely nothing about who Mecca is, and is it? So Monet is out the loop. She's gonna do something dumb in an attempt to take control, and that means somebody's got to die, so or somebody's gonna take a fall, and I don't know. So that's that. But Lorenzo, right now he's back on the scene, and already it's time to like a real. Drug nigga, he comes fresh out of jail. Two day, there is about to be. It's what three day three. He's plotting with Drew to take out a whole gang faction who he just invited to his crib for drinks and dominoes. Like damn, Lorenzo took no time, right? But finna take the nigga out and ain't got no drugs. He finna take out a motherfucker who's minding his business, showed him respect to showing up. Simply told him, I just want to do my own thing. I you got your thing. You help me out. I look out for you. I gave you some bread. We good people. I feel sorry for that man. Cause he's got, he was just, he was living his best life. And then here come Lorenzo and Drew was like, oh yeah, he's working them hard. Nigga, he's supposed to work them hard. He's the boss. Like, what are y'all talking about? Is workers, are y'all the OSHA of drug dealers, nigga? How the fuck you care how hard another drug nigga's working his employees on the corner? Like, what the bitch, what? That's an excuse to get this man knocked off? So already, I'm just, ah, that's, that's nasty, but that's day three. Uh, He letting Diana go to college. She tight. Now she has to go to Stansfield. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but anyway. So she, he's laying down the law, but ain't got no drugs. A nigga finna take out the niggas, still lay employees, but ain't got nothing to sell. Just trying to hook up with the connect. And Kane is not trying to allow it because he's clearly telling them, hey, Drew's ready, you're not, you're a soldier, an enforcer, you don't think, gotta go with the thinking son because we need smarts at the head of the table when the shit's all said and done, which I'm not bad at his selection. Drew is, unfortunately, the smartest nigga, and 
He may not know that when people are shooting through the window, you should duck and not run. Try to run out the back door. You might should just get on the floor and wait, wait the bullets out. So he's dumb in that regard. Uh, Drew also did some other dumb shit. He's still fucking with. Oh shit, that that was not supposed to happen. Then he's still fucking with the nigga that snitched on him, mentioned his whole family's name. Still fucking that dude. It's like you know, I just I mean, but when your options is Kane. And then Diana, who don't want to be a part of it, just want to go to school. Drew, I guess, is kind of your best option. So I'm not really mad. You got to play the the cards as dealt. And, you know, Zeke face ass nigga, you can't, you know. Who knows how long he going to last in the league. Might be some fucking Kwame Brown ass nigga. Sorry, Kwame. I was just, look, don't come after me, bro. I was just, I'm just saying, you know, you didn't have the best career. Look, we ain't got to, come on, come on. I don't need you to look at all my videos and do a 20-minute rant, but you know what your career was. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, we don't know how Zeke fit turn out, but, it, you know. Um, so, yeah, so he comes through doing all that shit. Now he's got to go through Kane. Kane playing hard to get with the connect until the end. Now Mecca's like, yeah, I'm going to change my mind. I want to meet this nigga because, you know, now let's go back to the – now let's go to the Mecca. We done with Lorenzo. What we got for Lorenzo? Lorenzo's cleared from the later murder game down. There's nothing to really think about there. Uh, he's going to find out about Mecca. When do we think? Maybe that's the season finale. I don't think that's the next episode, Hot Take. But they definitely, it's going to come, it's going to come, you know, it's going to be some Latin on Latin crime, I feel. Like, for like a nice fist fight. Like, you know, I feel like them niggas, them two niggas finna go at it like The Rock and Vin Diesel did and one of them Fast and Furious. I feel like that type of confrontation is finna happen. It just so happened both them niggas was bald too. So, you know, I feel like two swole ass bald niggas is gonna want to entangle with the hands. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's finna get real personal. I, I, that might be the only hot take I got, but that's feel like a season finale is shit. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who leaving out that room either. One nigga's fresh out the jail, but, you know, you got to put your money on the jail, nigga. Like, I mean, niggas get physical in there. You know, you living a lavish life, and you got sushi cooks that slice throats. Like, you good with your knife work. I don't know how your hands work, but, you know, whatever. But, um, uh, so let's go, you know what, let's go, um, yeah, let's go Mecca. Let's get Mecca out the way. So Mecca is now being told that he can't see his son. He's losing his woman all because Lorenzo came, called his nigga a jailbird, dirty Mac, and we don't respect it. You don't talk shit down. You don't talk down on another man for some pussy, okay? That's dirty Mac, and we don't respect that on this side, okay? If you any of you youngsters, that's dirty Macking. You never talk ill of another nigga that the chick is dealing with, all right? You either say, hey, we ain't talking about him. Or you just let her talk. You don't agree. You don't be like, yeah, he ain't shit. Don't nah, that's dirty Mackin. Have more respect for yourself, brother. We don't do that. So Mecca lost some points with me there. With the little he did some slight dirty Mac, a little tight. I understand. But you know. So what do we think is the plan with Mecca though? Now that he told Kane, like I okay, I deal with you. We only gonna work together. But now it's like, oh, okay, so this bitch come through. With these new plans, now, yeah, I want to meet your father now. Like, yeah, let's do this. So, I don't think he's going to out her. But th this is going to be his way of letting uh, Monet know that, hey, I'm your connect this whole time. So, it's going to spark that conversation, make her rethink. He's going to try to make her think, like, hey, now, I tried to tell you to roll with me. Now, I got to let you know I'm your family's connect. Ew. Now what? Am I looking better now? Is the drugs you want? I got drugs, bitch. What you, what you want? I'm feeding your husband. How you want to handle this? So I think she's going to do that, meet meet up with him to get to Monet and have that little flex happen. You know what I'm saying? Some dirty shit, but, you know, motherfucker tell you can't see her son. You got to clap back some way. So I'm not too mad at it. You know what I'm saying? It's, but, you know, I think that's what I think that's the, the situation. Uh, with Mecca. Uh, now let's go. Uh, let's get some low people out before we hit the Tariq. Let's go to uh, uh, Lauren. Let's go to Lauren. Now that she didn't, uh, you know, Tariq got spicy with her, and I gotta say, 
I agree. I told you I ain't killed no cop. You listen to the other motherfuckers. You weren't in the court. You ain't had my back. You wasn't supporting me. This ain't the life for you. We all knew that. We knew she was an Angela ass bitch. We knew that. Right? So she getting spy. She mad now. Now she got to testify. Now she got. She was really signed papers. She's listening to adults. She don't know this crime shit. Not too much her fault. But still, like, you should learn lessons like get a lawyer. You know them when you're drugs, you could ask for a drug test. You entangled yourself in some bullshit, on some scary shit. This ain't the life for you. So, it's kind of good that y'all fell out this way. And then the nigga, this is what I didn't understand. Tariq came to him, showing her love. He forgave that you wasn't supporting him. Fuck it. Let's go upstairs. We could talk about it. No, I don't want to go upstairs to talk about it. It's too confusing. I'm so confused. And then he goes, okay, bitch, I, this was me reaching, this was the olive branch, right? I d- tried to dead the fact that you didn't have my back. I'm trying to dead the fact that you listen to the motherfuckers. Now I say, let's go have this conversation. You go, I can feel that. Can. And then when I say, okay, fuck you, let me give you your keys. I see what it is. You ain't fucking with me. You ain't on my side. The love is not reciprocated, okay? You know what I'm saying? This is unrequited love right here. I ain't dealing with it. I, I got more problems, bitch. I got enough problems of my own. So cool. Now she, he tells her that. Now she's like, well, can you just, can we talk about the, not less than 40 seconds after the nigga offered you a conversation and you turned him down on some confusion shit. Now the nigga said, all right, bitch, fuck you. Let me get your keys. You like, oh, can we talk now? No. Who raised her? Like, where's her mama? Like, who did this? No, that's not how this works. Like, what? So, yeah. That's that. And then when Tariq dropping bombs, Tariq snitching on the motherfucker, boom. Now she want to go back to Carrie. Talking about, so, oh, you fucking Zeke, you set me up. Oh, oh, then Carrie looking a little, you know, Professor Milgram looking a little spicy up in that motherfucker. She like, oh, this bitch is a, is a threat now. So who knows how that's going to work out. But it sounded like Lauren was ready to spread that Zeke rumor because this job she was protecting so much. Yeah, so... It looks like that's about to get out in somebody classroom. And salute to that one. Um, I God, I don't want to be like, I don't want to be problematic. My man looked a little Middle Eastern. You know what I'm saying? But he was the only one holding down Zeke talking about innocent until proven guilty. I didn't feel how, you know what I'm saying, nobody else was, was rocking with that. He was trying to stand up for my mans. You know what I'm saying? But. Whatever. She didn't even say shit in class with that one. So that was that was different. Uh now she gotta testify. She even went to the prosecutor to talk about it. So look like she'll be taking a stand. She don't know shit. Maybe she might perjure herself to get in good with Tariq. I don't know. Uh yeah. I don't know. She's gonna have some type of morality thing, but she really don't know shit, so it's really not a problem. She's just unnecessary. Lauren could go. I'm glad, actually. You know, he smashed that, and she ended up being who we all thought she were. You know what I'm saying? So we could just go ahead and get her right up out of there. Um, Who else we got? Do we want to go Milgram? Let's go Carrie. Carrie got to die. I could, t- I could tell her wheels is turning. She ain't like how my man got bailed, so she's working that out. How to fuck him on that. Oh, fuck, fuck Carrie, man, because, I mean, we see her story coming. Do I even need to talk about her? No, fuck her. We good. Congressman Tate. Congressman Tate has, he is won the best scene award to me. And you know what? I'm going to give that nigga, oh God, I want to give, I want to give Congressman Tate winner of the episode. I, I want to say he won this episode for me. I'm not going to lie. It was some good, it was some good acting. There was some spicy shit going down. But, yeah, Congressman Tate, I got him winning this. Off of one scene, when he met up with Tariq in that prison, if Fed Up was a nigga, it was Congressman Tate. So, (laughs) Tariq called this man down here talking about some, you need to help me. If you help me, I get you that information you need on that senator. He said, (laughs) God bless Congressman Tate. 
That nigga said, nigga, what the fuck you think? What I've been waiting for, nigga? Like, you've been, we've been making this same fucking deal, homie, and you ain't came through with shit. I felt that in my soul. That was, I laughed, and it was so real. That was real emotion. L- salute to Lorenz Tate, man. Congressman fucking Tate. Salute to that nigga. He showed you what acting was. I be- that was 100% believable. That nigga was fed up with Tariq in that goddamn prison. Uh, but gave him the ends about that little book and shit. And uh, now he gets to fuck with Carrie now. So he done got a nigga Tariq out of there. Sax is looking dirty. Per usual. Sax is finna do some dumb shit. Questioning Congressman Tate about what he got on the judge. Bitch, what? Nigga. And you see Melk looking at him like, nigga, stop asking. We out of here. Then Sax coming there asking with the whole court shit. Like, did you do it? And it's like, nigga, so you asking our client for a confession, bitch? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Or are you dumb? Like, yeah, so Sax is finna fuck something up, bro. He can't help himself. I was proud of him, too. He was staying out the way. He had his little shaky moments where he wanted to flip because it was hard to go from the prosecuting side, the attorney general side, to come helping criminals and shit. I understand. I respect the transition. But, nigga, this is what you chose. And we see him fighting his demons still. But he was he was playing the path. He got Lorenzo out. So I'm like, okay, salute to you, Sax. You've been fucking the, the you fucking the other side, getting information. You doing? I'm like, okay, I can rock with this. But when it comes to Tariq St. Patrick, when it comes to them fucking St. Patrick's, something boils in his blood, and the Sax just can't have it. He just can't help it, right? When he hears St. Patrick, Tasha Tariq, the fucking ghost, it's just too much for him. He just that's the part he cannot get over, and that's going to fuck something up. It might even help Tariq. With his court shit. Sax might do some unscrupulous shit, I'm thinking. And that'll help Tariq out. Because his own defense attorney is going to fuck something. I don't know. I don't know court. I'm sure they'll figure it out. But y'all feel the vibe. I'm going with it. Uh, let's go with Tariq, man. Uh, let's, let's end this thing off. So, Tariq, what he, what he dealing with? He had 50 come visit him in prison. His ghost. His dark passenger. Salute to Dexter. Uh, he had 50 come visit him. Played it out. Like, okay, clearly Kane set me up. But, oh, yeah, who pulls his strings? Monet. Okay, so now them two hoses in together. Okay, bet. He Now he want he to send bullets their way, respectfully. But now he's on the ankle monitor. He feels, and he knows he needs bread. So the money and the drugs still tie them together. Because remember, I was questioning. I'm like, why is he doing nautical studies if he getting paid? the money he was supposed to be just going to school to get this money why is he drug dealing if he's gonna take nautical studies and now they found a reason for him to drug deal some more i'd, I'd be touching on these i'd be asking the right question but these motherfuckers was answering and that's why i like this episode so now he's got to fight for his freedom got to pay that two milli he gotta pay that two milli um then uh was that even the right dance for two oh okay anyway uh so you gotta pay that um, fine. He got to work with Kane, but salute to Effie. She a real one. Came through when the niggas on his low though. I don't know if I like that. Effie been wanting to be with him, right? This was her end. I don't know. I question the motherfucker who slide their way in when they know I'm hurting, even though she's a fine thing to slide in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, double entendre right there. Um, uh, but no. So now I guess Effie and him was a thing. I like that situation much better than Lauren. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well done, but you are your you are your daddy's son. Uh, but he decided to share everything. He get beef with Braden for a second. If he helped him see his wrong, that then him and Braden pieced it up. So I'm glad to see that. I did not want them. Them two is my tag team. I need them to stick through this. You know, so I like them two together, and I like Effie being his chick. I like the I like the I like the original three coming back. Like. This is the squad. The squad has reunited. Avengers unite. So now I'm guessing, you know, he's going to fight this case. He's going to try to find a way to get Kane out of there. He, A, can't kill him. Plus, Monet will know who did it. So he's got to find some slick way of getting Kane the fuck up out of here. So Kane definitely got a target on his back. He didn't try it too many times. Uh, So his time is at hand. Uh, Let's see what else. He got he got the book for Tate. He sent Brain to go take care of that. So he's running shit with the ankle monitor. 
You know, they try to figure out how to get it off. And so we know he's going to take it off, catch a body, put it back on. I think we kind of see where that's going, right? Like, I was here the whole time. So he's going to be trying to be on some other shit with that. But, uh, yeah. So Tariq is up against it. Um, but I see where he's formulating and plotting and planning. And the fact that he actually didn't kill that cop is going to work for him. So I like it, though. I like it. This episode was jam-packed. I don't know how long I've been talking. I apologize. This is a long one. But goddamn, this was a good-ass episode. You feel me? And I'm just glad to be back with my people. I hope y'all saved me and the family called Omarion. We called it the whole squad. Little big. Niggas got it from school. But we good now. We tested negative. You know what I'm saying? We done been here in this COVID streets before. Nigga done had this my two times with the fucking COVID. Fucking over it. But uh, the second time was pretty decent. First time was fucking, fucking forget about it. But the second time, you know, is what it is. But, uh, yeah, y'all stay safe, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be cool. Um, and stay warm if you in, because Chicago, look, look what I got on. Your boy got his robe on. I, I ain't fucking around. This house is cold as shit. But anyway, man, protect your health, yourself, your wealth, man. Um, I'm glad. I was, I was just excited to do this. I ain't talked to y'all in a minute, so I said, fuck it. I'm going to watch it and record same night, old school shit. I'm taking it back. I want to get the essence of this YouTube shit back, man. I, I've been slacking, man, but a nigga trying to get paid, y'all. Y'all don't understand. And y'all motherfuckers ain't helping. I love y'all, but y'all don't be sending money. Y'all be sharing my shit? You be hitting the like button? Like, what, what we doing? All right, man, your boy Rella's out. Peace.